Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'm going to show you how an EcoSmart Eco27 electric tankless water heater works. On the bottom of the unit, you see a 3 quarter inch male cold water inlet and a 1 inch knockout for the electrical supply. This 240 volt unit needs to be fed with three pairs of 8 gauge power wires. Each pair must have its own dedicated ground wire and its own 40 amp double pole breaker. The wires are attached to the terminal block. When this unit is used as a whole house water heater, the unit will be turned on whenever somebody turns on hot water anywhere in the house. When the unit is used for point of use service, such as for heating the water to a jacuzzi tub, the unit is only turned on when the hot water for the jacuzzi tub is turned on. In either case, when hot water is turned on, cold water enters the water heater and activates the flow meter. This action turns on three specialized switches located just above the flow meter. These three switches are called triacs. It is their job to turn on the three heating elements. Each triac has a cable which goes to one of the three heating elements. After the cold water has passed the three triacs, it comes to the inlet thermistor. A thermistor is a kind of resistor that is used in this case to sense the temperature of the water coming into the unit. There are wires going from the inlet thermistor to the circuit board where the water temperature information is used as part of the unit's self-modulating system. In other words, if the inlet thermistor tells the circuit board that the water coming in is 37 degrees, the circuit board will modulate the unit in such a way as to efficiently process 37 degree water. If the water coming in is 67 degrees, the self-modulating system will work efficiently for that temperature of water. After the cold water passes the inlet thermistor, it now enters the three chamber heat exchanger. Each chamber has its own heating element on top. When the water enters the first chamber, it is warmed up. Then when it enters the second chamber, it is warmed up some more. And when it enters the third chamber, it is warmed up to the temperature that you set. Each of the chambers has its own thermostat, which help to regulate the heating elements. Just before the heated water is discharged into the house, it passes an outlet thermistor. This outlet thermistor takes the temperature of the water to make sure that the water is within one degree of the desired temperature. Now the hot water exits the unit through a three quarter inch male fitting. The advantage to this kind of system is that it is a very compact system and it is an on-demand system as opposed to a tank system that must keep water warm at all times. I'll put a link in my video description for the EcoSmart Eco27 electric tankless water heater. Also, I'll put links for the other sizes of EcoSmart electric tankless water heaters, including the very small 3.5 kilowatt, 110 volt point of use unit, the 6 kilowatt, 240 volt unit, the EcoSmart 8 kilowatt, the EcoSmart 18 kilowatt, the EcoSmart 24 kilowatt, and the big one, the EcoSmart 36 kilowatt electric tankless water heaters. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.